What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, this is Ask the Cheese Gaming, and I'm back with another iTop5. This time, we're gonna talk about this wonderful little contraption right here, Nintendo GameCube. Last week, we did the Nintendo 64. Let me set that down. We did my top five on the Nintendo 64. So this week, we'll jump right in. My top five GameCube games. And a quick little spoiler for all of you guys. I'm not a huge, real collector of the GameCube. Unfortunately, when I got into collecting... Cat, don't... Finally, my cat wanted to say hi. Say hello, kitty. Hi, my kitty. Anyway, as I was about to say, by the time I really got into collecting, the price of the GameCube library had just shot up so much. So it kind of inhibited how many uh, games I really try to collect for. I've gotten a couple plus ones that have just survived through, through time. But same rule as before, top five, number two. After that one, I'll have three honorable mentions. So first one, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now I know a lot of people prefer Wind Waker, but honestly, I kind of like the little wolf mechanic of this one. It's just the kind of darker, gritty tone of it. Everything's complete. It's just such a strange game, but I really like it. So it's a lot of fun. I enjoy playing this one. And I mean, come on, it's Zelda. Gotta have Zelda on the GameCube, right? So that's number five. Continuing right along, number four. I don't think this game needs any introduction. It's too bad we never got a Nintendo 64 port of this. Metroid Prime. I actually prefer this over Super Metroid. Probably just because I played more of this. My buddy recommended me this. Fortunately, I don't have the manual. But still, got it for a pretty good price. It shot up way more now, if you guys can see that. 26 bucks. This game's a lot more expensive now. I mean, just the whole entire GameCube library is just skyrocketed. Hello again, kitty. Apparently he wants to be in the video today too, so everyone say hi, Durf. Even though he's a little deaf kitty, but that's okay. Anyway, back onto the video. So, number four, Metroid Prime. A lot of fun, enjoy it. I wish they made a Nintendo 64, but hey, what can you do? Number three. Mario Kart Double Dash. Unfortunately, I got a little rough sticker up there, but I've just kind of left that there. This one actually is the one with the bonus CD. Everything is complete. This one survived through. This is actually my original copy of Double Dash that I've had since I've had was a kid. I never got rid of it, thank God, because this game too is woof, woo hoo hoo. Especially this version too. I think this version is actually more expensive than the uh, Player's Choice. Someone leave me a comment down below and let me know. But of all the Mario Kart games, this one's actually my favorite. I wish they'd bring back the two-player, you know, how you have two drivers on the same car. I thought that was a really cool concept. I wish they'd bring that back. It's too bad they didn't. Besides, it's got my two favorite characters, Yoshi and Boo. So, hey, can't go wrong there. Number two, continuing right along. And again, like I said before... I'm not a real big collector into the GameCube, just the price of the games has just gone up so much. It just kind of priced me out of it. So my library was really comparatively small compared to everything else. But Legend of Zelda Master Quest Ocarina of Time. If you watch my Nintendo 64 video, spoiler, you know that Ocarina of Time was my number one. So, of course, had to have... Master Quest is pretty much Ocarina of Time just on the GameCube. So, and that Master Quest is a whole entire, all the puzzles are changed around, so everything's different. So, a lot of fun. Love this game. And the graphics are a lot better, too. Wonderful game. I'm glad this one survived with me, too. Then, honorable mentions. That was number two, by the way. First one, it's not one that I really know too well, but I nef never hear anyone talk about it until. Last year, I didn't even know this game existed. That is Extreme G Racing Association. This is actually Extreme G4. There's Extreme G3 for the GameCube, which I do have. 
And if you guys want, I could feature that or this one on Time Trial Tuesday. Let me know. But Extreme G Racing Association, I guess this is, this is Extreme G4. My buddy got this for me as a Christmas gift, so thank you very much. Complete, everything looking nice. I didn't even, like I said, I didn't even know this existed. So just wanted to shout it out. For now, probably not a lot of people know about it. Now the get another game. A lot of people probably do know about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, based off the 2012, 2012 cartoon. I think. I'm not 100 percent certain, but a lot of fun. Definitely enjoy these games. I'm glad they brought them back. This one's also complete. I have this one. And I also have Mutant Melee. Eventually I want to get Battle Nexus. And the uh, uh, third one, I forget the title of it. So that way I'll have all four Turtles games. So just honorable mention, all four of the Turtles games for the GameCube. And last honorable mention. Spyro, Enter the Dragon. A lot of fun. Run around, hunt treasures, smash stuff, solve puzzles. I mean, come on, Spyro. You can never go wrong with Spyro. No manual in there, but hey, for the price I got, just 10 bucks, can't beat it. Especially, like I said, with the price of the GameCube libraries just skyrocketed so much. And can you guess my number one? Any guesses? Comment below. Were you right after this one? I freaking love this game. This game is so much fun. Ah, God, the sheer hours I wasted as a teenager playing this thing. Oh my God. So many, so many afternoons. I used to spend summer afternoons. I'd set the AI, do four player versus the AI, put their lives up to 99 and complete it in one sitting. So many afternoons playing this game, but that's my number one. Super Smash Brothers Melee, what I believe to be the best one in the series. That's the back for you guys to see. So like I said, we'll run through them again real quick. We got Zelda at number five. Metroid, number four. Double Dash, three. Master Quest, number two. And number one. Super Smash Brothers Melee. I also want to say at the end of the video, thank you everyone who's been commenting on these. I really, really appreciate it. There we go. Now you guys can see them all. Got a lot of requests on my Nintendo 64. You guys seem interested in what would be my uh, top 10 or top 12. So I think when I'm all done with these, we'll go for that. And before I finish up this video, comment below. Do you guys want to see my top five Wii or Xbox 360 next week? Leave me a comment below. Let me know. Which one would you prefer? I don't know. Maybe we could even do a top 7 Xbox 360? Let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Again, this has been my top 5. Till next time.